Hey, what's up guys, Hong, OG Fitness. So, welcome to the channel. In this video, we're gonna talk about how to get really good, really fast at Judo and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, okay? So, a lot of times what happens is, oh, sorry guys, like the video, subscribe, and of course, uh, leave a comment uh, down below, uh, you know, uh, at the end of the video, right? And um, so, it helps me grow the channel and all that. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a good thing. All right, so how do you get good fast at Judo and BJJ? Well, I know this, this uh, it sounds like clickbait, right? Like when I say that shit, and uh, probably in the title too, in the thumbnail, but it's not really. When you think about it, right? Actually, when I think about it, and when I, when I talk to my coaches and stuff like that, you know, we were having this debate where like, okay, you know, what's, uh, you know, how, how, you know, like people always talk about, you know, what's better, BJJ, Judo, what you should do first and all that, blah, 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 blah. But essentially, they're, um, they're, they're both tied together. You can't really separate the two, you know? Uh, Jiu-Jitsu is really just um, an evolution of Judo, Judo's groundwork on the ground, right? And like at this point, me being somebody who did BJJ for about six years, and then I'm about four or five years into Judo right now, I mean, I can't separate the two. I can't say that I'm a BJJ guy uh, or I'm a, a strictly a BJJ guy or strictly a Judo guy anymore. I can't say that. Like my Judo is like, I can't say, oh, my ground game is Judo. I can't because I, you know, like everything I learned in BJJ, it's, it's like I still use a lot of the principles and a lot of the techniques there. And you know, like, uh, and it's all mixed up right now at this point. So my identity is really as a grappler, but my main focus is judo competition, right? Okay, so now let's just get back to how do you get good quick. Now the thing is, a lot of a lot of guys when they start off, right, they get overwhelmed because there's so many things to learn, right? You try to you're learning like a million techniques, a million approaches. There's a lot of things, but here's the key, really the key, right? you gotta focus on just one or two techniques in every position, right? So in Judo, what that means is you want two techniques throwing the person from the, to, to, the, um, to the front, right? So front meaning like you're throwing them forward like that, right? And two techniques towards the back, one or two, that's it, that's all. And you focus on that and everything else will stem from those one or two techniques, okay? In, in each position. So in Judo, like, I know it's more nuanced than that, but just, just trust me, focus, right? Just one or two techniques to throw the guy forward, one or two techniques towards the back, that's it, okay? And then everything else has to be focalized around that. So you have those one or two techniques, boom, and then from there, you work towards getting there, right? And of course, then there's footwork, uchikomi, and you know, the basic stuff like learning how to fall, which is really important by the way. But I mean, technique wise, forget about it. Even if you go to your club and they're showing you like every day you're going, uh, you're, you're getting shown like 500 varieties uh, and, uh, of techniques, uh, you know? And, and of course, um, like a different, um, not different, you're showing, you're being shown a bunch of techniques, but you're also being shown like, uh, thousands of ways to do it differently, right? So what do you do? Well, you can't focus on a thousand techniques, right? Like, no, but you need time to practice and to process. Focus on one or two techniques, and then of course, look at the variables and the ways, uh, uh, different ways of, of approaching it, of throwing it, of setting it up, right? And um, different nuances, you know, how they do it the classical way, how they do it in competition, how they do it against a taller dude, a shorter dude, uh, you know, and so on and so on, a fast dude, a slow dude, you know, so everything is focused on that one or two technique. That's it, that's all, okay? And you're gonna see, you're gonna improve so much faster because you have a, a base. Once you have a very strong one or two techniques, front and back, right, from there, you can build from there. You always have to build from the center out, the center out right? You can't just be like, I'm going to do this one day. I'm going to do Osoto. Oh, and tomorrow I'm going to do this. Of course, you got to learn all that shit, right? But you find the one that you, you, you have the most, uh, um, you have the most ease with, 
the one that's the easiest, that comes easiest to you and that, that feels good, that feels strong. And you're like, man, I, I get this technique for whatever reason. Maybe it's your body shape, your arms are long, your legs are short or whatever, you know, some kind of something that has to do with your, your mind and your body where like, okay, this technique just fits you, right? So focus on that technique. Not saying, not of course, yeah, I learned the rest and blah, 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 right? It's good, you have to learn them, right? Because it's part of the art. But that being said, focus on those one or two techniques. So in judo, two front, two back, that's all you need, or even one, right? And work around that. That's your center and work around it, branch out. Okay, so that's how you do it, okay? You don't just go, oh, soto, oh, ipon suenage, okay, this, this, this. And then if you try to master like a bunch of techniques at the same time, it's gonna take you forever, okay? Forever to, to, uh, to get good. To get really you know because if you focus on that one or two technique you can strategize everything your fighting style your setup everything is focalized around that and then you're gonna make really fast improvements right like um i didn't do that at the beginning and that was a mistake and i only realized now that uh so now i'm very 360 right like i could do pretty much everything but i don't have but i know two that are my my I'm still figuring out what are my strong, uh, my strong techniques. It's definitely Arai, right, and Osoto. Those are my main two. Like for the back, Osoto, right, and for the front, it's Arai, right. But I can do everything else. It's not a problem. But I'm really gonna specialize in those two techniques and set everything up, uh, my um, my sweeps and all that towards that. Now, okay, that's for judo. Now for jujitsu, okay, the same thing, guys one or two techniques in every position. That's it, that's all. And then you center it, that's your main focus. So you wanna be able to throw that technique from pretty much um, in any type of like situation, or at least focus on setting it up and positioning yourself to, to get to that uh, technique, right? So for example, you're gonna need a technique when you're off your back, right, that you specialize in. And uh, you're gonna need a technique when you have the back, and you will need a technique when you're uh, you're mounted, okay? And that's it. Okay, there's half guard too, but you know that's pretty much like when you're when when you're in somebody's half guard, right? You're, then you're on top. So you so let's just for argument's sake keep it simple because there's a lot of stuff that get, goes into it, right? But you want one off your back, one main technique, one or two. That's it. One or two main techniques that maybe you could. Uh, alternate in between. You could combine, like you do this, he doesn't do up, you do that, then you go that, and then you do that technique. You see? One or two, that's it, that's it. One off your, one or two off your back, one or two um, when you're in the top position, and one or two when you're from the back, when you have your hooks in and you're working to, you know, you have the back, and so that's it. So those are the basic, basic positions, right? So for judo, two in the front, two in the back, and for jujitsu, Okay, two when you're on your back, two when you're on top, on the mount, and two when you have the back, all right? So I hope that makes sense, guys, but that's the thing, man. Like, if you spend your time learning all this fancy shit, you're not gonna go anywhere fast, man, and you will get your ass uh, kicked in competition and in sparring by guys who are more focused, right? And you don't want to spend 10 years before you get good. Hell, you don't even you want to get good as fast as possible. So the only way to get good at something fast is to practice the shit out of it. Have that one core thing that belongs to you, and then okay. So what that means is like think of Bruce Lee, right? One thing that Bruce Lee said is like, I fear not the man. I might be getting this wrong, but you guys can type it in down below. I don't. I fear not the man who practices a thousand kicks. I fear the man who practices one kick a thousand times every day. Something like that, right? So the man that's highly focused and highly specialized, right? It doesn't mean that he's, he doesn't know about anything else. It just means that, man, he has certain things that he's really strong at. And he's, pretty, he's really good in everything else, but he's an expert in that one thing. That's what's going to take your game to another level. Okay, because then you're focused. You have a line of thinking, a guiding principle. Okay, this is this. Like you already know what you want to do when you go into a fight. So that's the thing too, man. When you go into a a, uh, a randori, uh, a role, a uh, a shiai, right? Meaning competition. You gotta know what the hell you want to do, man. So how are you gonna know that if you don't have a style? You don't have a specialty, right? And having a a, a a specialty, okay, one or two special techniques 
allows you to have a style, a strategy that you can build around it, right? So I hope that made sense, guys. Let me know what you think below. How how did you guys um, how do you guys see this? Does this make sense to you? How, and for the guys who are more experienced, right? For those who aren't experienced, try this. Try this, and you're gonna see. Give it like a two three months, you know. And uh, I think it's gonna help you a lot. And then you know, let me down. Let me know in the comments, right? And for those of you guys who have more experience, who've been black belts and and the higher belt levels for a very long time, like let me know what you think. Uh, did you guys have that same approach? I didn't. I only realize it now. But when I think about it, I should. That's what I should have done, right? But I wasn't. You know, I wasn't coached the way I was being coached uh, now. So that's the importance of having a, a coach with a lot of experience, uh, you know, when it comes to, to, to these things, right? So let me know how you guys approach it. Did you guys get good fast, relatively fast? You know, make, made a lot of progress. What have you tried? What, ha what worked? What didn't work? And um, yeah, I'd be really, it's gonna be, it's gonna be, a, it's gonna be a good conversation, guys. So put it down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.